Tonight, keeping a very close eye on the weather, the threat of severe storms. For more on that, meteorologist Francis Payton. Oh, yes. You know, it's going to be busy overnight. Do you guys sleep good in the rain? I normally do. Yeah. But but the lightning will wake up and my you've kids. You've got little ones, too. I know, so. my oh, little okay. ones, and then they will come to my bed, and then I don't get sleep. <laughs> well, you know, it might be a nice, warm, snuggly bed. Yeah. Very snuggly. <laughs> yeah, very snuggly. <laughs> and a big caution note I know you've been giving yeah, about being morning. extra cautious on the roads in the morning and really at other parts of the day. You know, I am now, as we're seeing that daytime heating, it looks when we do have that brief period in between the two systems, we'll have some sunshine. Right. And sunshine equals energy. So likely could see another round of severe weather for the evening time frame. So unfortunately, no matter when you're hitting the road, morning or night, it's going to be a bumpy ride, folks. Now, we're going to start off with reviewing today because it was so lovely out there. Here's a great picture from Kathleen at the Saints Golf Course in Port St. Lucie. Love the colors early this morning. But let's quickly review today. High temperature of 81 degrees, a morning low of 70 pretty much close to seasonal in, uh, in terms of your high temperatures. And again, it was just a lovely day outside. Now for tonight, overnight lows will be in the upper 60s, lower 70s. Let's fast forward to tomorrow. High temperatures, upper 70s. Few of us hitting those lower 80s, but you see a lot of storm chances to talk about. So right now we're seeing the start to move on shore. This system impacting the Tampa Bay area, starting to move into Sarasota. We've already been dealing with some warnings throughout North Central Florida. As for us, we're still hanging tight here, staying dry right now. But as you can see within this marginal threat, we're expecting it to be a bit busy back here in the weather center. So that marginal threat level one out of five, we're really looking at strong wind gusts, Hail is possible, but I want to rule out the chance of dealing with a brief spin up. Let's go through this together on your Viper cast. Now, if you notice between one to two o'clock in the morning, seeing some action near Lake Okeechobee and through Okeechobee counties, here you have your morning time frame. Looking at scattered showers, I want to rule out an isolated storm, but here we have that intermission period between the, I'd say your morning commutes until about 11 o'clock. Then near lunchtime, we have a bit more energy. Looking at that sun peaking here or there in that heating as well. We are going to see that take advantage of those warmer temperatures and as well as of that energy. So that's where we see your radar really start to fill in all over again, dealing with some sh uh, strong to severe storms in the mix. We'll monitor this through your evening time frame and then looking at more isolated action afterwards near dinner time, I'd say. So beyond the Wednesday rumbles, we are going to see calmer conditions for Thursday and Friday as we get closer towards the weekend and check out those temperatures. We are warming to the middle 80s uh, for Friday and Saturday and as well as Sunday. Sunday, we do spring forward, but we're also looking at just a few rain showers later in the day.